Pop songs are known for their happy lyrics and booty-moving beats. But just because a song sounds happy doesn't always mean it has a happy message. If this is your first time visiting us, click the red subscribe button. Today, we are discussing 10 fun pop songs with dark secret meanings. Sia, Chandelier in 2014, singer Sia's ultra-catchy single Chandelier soared the charts to become one of her first solo hits. Many people ignored the lyrics and actually thought the song was a party song, as it said, one, two, three, drink, and people would drink along. Though the song highlighted her party days, it wasn't exactly supposed to shine a good light on them. Chandelier was a way for Sia to sing about her battle with alcoholism and the days when she was a party girl, and the only thing she cared about was to keep my glass full until morning light. Madonna, Like a Virgin For years, people have thought Madonna's song, Like a Virgin, has to do with the innocence of being a virgin touched for the very first time. The truth about the song is actually a bit darker. The writer described that he was going through the ending of a relationship and started a new one. The feeling he got from the new relationship made him feel as if it was the first time he was having these feelings. And it was brand new. He was using his relationship to get over the pain of the one that had just ended. The Weeknd, Can't Feel My Face the catchy hook and fun lyrics had everyone thinking The Weeknd was so in love with someone that he couldn't feel his face from smiling so much. The truth is, though it is still fun to shake your booty to, The Weeknd was actually singing about drugs. The song is a personification of cocaine and the singer's use of the drug. It is said that cocaine has a numbing effect when used, and because he's alluding to using the drug in the song, The Weeknd can't feel his face when he's with or using cocaine. Kendrick Lamar, Swimming Pools Swimming Pools became a drinking anthem after its release, and though it is about alcohol, it wasn't written to glorify it. When Lamar was younger, he claims he was surrounded by adults who would drink often. Though this doesn't sound like anything out of the ordinary, Lamar explains the adults would drink so much that the amount of alcohol could fill a swimming pool. Next time you are jamming out or drinking to Kendrick Lamar's Swimming Pools, take a listen to see if you hear the dark references from his childhood. Bruce Springsteen, Born in the USA If you have ever heard Bruce Springsteen's Born in the USA, you may have thought it is an American anthem full of American pride. That is just what Springsteen wanted you to think. He used the powerful chorus and rock and roll rhythm to trick people into thinking he had a patriotic message. He was actually trying to use the song to shame America for the mistreatment of Vietnam veterans when they returned home after the war. Lady Gaga, Poker Face no, Gaga wasn't bragging about how great her poker face is at casinos in Vegas. This song is actually about one of her past relationships. According to Gaga, the song was about a time when she was struggling with her bisexuality. The singer was in a relationship with a man, but would think about women when they were intimate. Therefore, the singer needed to keep a poker face as to not let her boyfriend know that she was thinking about being intimate with girls, and not him. M.I.A. Paper Planes Paper Planes by M.I.A. is an incredibly fun-sounding song with interesting sound effects that will have you bopping your head to the beat for three minutes. What can get lost in the catchy chorus and hit beat is the reason the song was written in the first place. The song, in which she raps about selling crack and manufacturing fake visas, is actually supposed to be a satire of how Western societies view dark-skinned foreigners. Having been denied a visa to enter America, M.I.A. became frustrated and wanted to show Western societies that dark-skinned foreigners aren't a threat. They just want to live their lives. Fun, Some Nights The group Fun's biggest hit came with the upbeat and happy-sounding song, Some Nights. Though the quick tempo and the uplifting vocals may seem like a great way to cheer someone up, it actually has a depressing meaning behind it. After they started to become famous, the band began to struggle with the thought of being sellouts. Some Nights is their struggle of wondering all that they had given up for the sake of being famous. This is shown in the lyrics. So this is it? I sold my soul for this? Washed my hands out for this? I missed my mom and dad for this? Robin Thicke and Pharrell, Blurred Lines Though Robin Thicke claimed his hit song with Pharrell Williams' Blurred Lines was written for his now ex-wife, he wasn't fooling anyone. The song is riddled with rape undertones that are degrading to women. When the song and video came out in 2013, it had bloggers and feminists enraged as they believed Thicke was trying to send a message that supported rape culture out into the world. His video that featured scantily clad and topless models was banned from TV in the UK, and it has been hard for him to convince anyone that his racy song was about his then-wife. Outcast, Hey Ya yeah. The song that had everyone shaking it like a Polaroid picture in 2003 wasn't exactly as happy-go-lucky as it sounded. Singer Andre 3000 was actually singing about how futile relationships can be. In the lyrics, if what they say is nothing is forever, then what makes love the exception? Shows his dismal outlook on love. Andre knows his audience is ignoring his message when he stops all the talk about relationships and just starts telling everyone to dance.
Are you surprised by any of these pop songs with dark secret meanings? React in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to The Taco.